Well, I kind of thought uh, I was uh, going to wait on this, but um, had some time here while I wait for epoxies to dry on the comlocks uh, and decided, well, let's start looking at uh, how I'm going to uh, power this thing and uh, what uh, kind of circuits I'm going to add for lighting and other effects. And one thing that I really don't like is having hardwired connections, you know, a socket somewhere so hard to hide and just to uh, kind of uh, detracts from the uh, 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 appearance of, of the build. And um, internal disposable batteries, I'm also not a big fan of. Uh, I know a lot of people love 9-volt, and yes, they do offer a lot of flexibility, but the life is so short and uh, can get kind of expensive constantly rep uh, repairing those things or replacing those things. So what I'm going to be doing is what I've done on a couple of other builds is I'm going to be doing a wireless coupling uh, that will not only introduce power into the model, but it will also uh, recharge a lithium uh, poly battery that will be sitting above in this area here because there's just so much room uh, up there, and uh, uh, I, I decide I want to take full advantage of that. So um, let me show you. You can watch uh, the voltmeter there as I introduce my source there, and there we go. Um, I can be a little bit off the model. Here I am. Now I'm not sure if this is going to be uh, uh, the distance when the landing gear is on, uh, but I'm I'm easily half an inch off and I'm still getting power. Let's go up a little bit higher. Uh, there we go. We're almost an inch. So uh, now obviously when I go too high it uh, it stops. But the nice thing is is I can take it around and uh, fly this thing around the room in my bunny toe jammies and uh, you know no, uh, no big deal. So um, I like this approach a lot and it's very easy because there's so much room, I, I, what I did was, uh, and I have some pictures um, that I'll post, I channeled out or just uh, got rid of a lot of the uh, detail down there and just made that nice and smooth so that the coil uh, will lay flat. I'll epoxy that down. The circuit board is right next to it. And I'll run, may not necessarily be this wiring because it's kind of thick, but I could leave it and just not twist it. Uh, I've already got a, uh, where is it at, uh, already have a notch cut out here and does seem to uh, allow me to go all the way down. Uh, the tape's kind of in the way. But uh, uh, yeah, you know, I, I'm just, this is, this is just uh, something I wanted to post to kind of give you guys uh, an idea uh, before if you're also going to be building the Revell, to consider uh, uh, it in, in respect to powering up and uh, uh, maintaining the batteries if you go rechargeable. Uh, even if you don't go rechargeable, you could probably use super caps. I'm not sure how much the circuitry is going to draw, but I'll be, I'll be measuring that and seeing if a super cap might be uh, uh, doable. But I uh, thought I'd post something real quick uh, to kind of give you guys uh, an idea. And uh, yeah, uh, it's going to be a fun build, but uh, I'm not going to really seriously get into it until those uh, comlocks are done. You know, I'm, I've got so many <laughs> unfinished models that, you know, it's kind of like squirrel and I'm off on to something else. And I, I, I don't want to do that with this. Uh, uh, I, I don't want to do that anymore. I've got the time now. i got all the time in the world until I don't to work on this stuff. And I want to start and complete kits, which I've gotten pretty good lately, um, but I've wanted this kit. I've got the <clears throat> round two uh, uh, kit on reserve over at uh, Call TV Men's uh, 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 site, so I'm anxiously looking forward to getting that and uh, seeing what the differences are. Uh, I'm really wondering if they've got the back end interior. I know they've got a cockpit, at least they've said they have, uh, and, and uh, they've shown that on, in the video. But I don't know what's going on back here. I, it seems kind of weird that they'd have opening doors, uh, open doors, I mean, and no interior. So uh, might have been just an oversight or wasn't quite ready when they did the video. 
and we may be pleasantly surprised. Uh, either way, uh, really love this ship. Uh, yeah, so uh, I hope you all have a great day, and uh, I hope this kind of gives you uh, some ideas. See you all later. Bye.